It's time now for the best high school sports action from the WBCB Sports Network. Catch the best games from Bucks and Mercer County at WBCBSports.com and our Facebook page. Your home for high school sports is right here at WBCB 1490. It's the Capital City Classic, a doubleheader here on the WBCB Sports Network as we have two very solid games for you this afternoon or morning, I should say, as Trenton Central 15-0 taking on Newark Eastside. They're seven and eight, but playing a very good conference and uh, looks like they have some size and we're excited to get things going. We'll speak with Joe Richardson, Bill Redner's here. We've got everything on tap for you. Marty Flynn will be around. We'll have the coaches interviews. This game sponsored in part by Capital Health System, Holdeman Ford Subaru, New Jersey Education Association, the Revere Restaurant, Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and by Team Toyota Capital Area YMCA, the Trentonian, the Italian People's Bakery, Hyundai of Trenton, and Mako in Ewing. Great to be back with you. Keith Noonan alongside Mercer County Hall of Famer Rich Fisher with you. And uh, Fish, you just talked to some of the coaches, but uh, let's uh, break down this matchup uh, quickly here. You've got right. an undefeated team in Trenton. We saw Ewing go down last night. They're now 13-1, but the Tornado is still strong at 15-0. Yeah, well, first of all, I only talked to Daryl Young. I didn't get a chance okay. to get to the uh, Newark coaches. But, yeah, I mean, uh, look, it's always great to have these games in midseason, these out-of-conference games, just to give Trenton an idea of where it stands with other areas of the state. And this is going to be a great test for the undefeated Tornadoes, and despite what the Red Raiders record says. I mean, they come in here on a six-game losing streak after a seven and two start, but please don't be fooled by that seven and eight record. The combined record of those six opponents flash, 62 and 22. Yep. And during that, during this little slump, North Eastside has suffered losses by one, three, four, and five points. So you get a few different bounces here or there, a ball bounces a little different on the rim. They could very well be 11 and four and they have some nice wins, too. With the, the most significant came in December when they beat an arts team that was ranked number 15 in the state at the time. And uh, Trenton, obviously, ranked number 17 right now. Uh, Esai is led by their senior guard, Sutan Fitzpatrick, who's averaging 16 a game. And he leads the team in both steals and assists. He's one of those guys that has the ability to give Newark some quick points, getting steals, turning steals into layups. Uh, also in the backcourt, they have a junior guard, Amir Abdullah, who averages nearly 12 a game. And you got to watch him on the perimeter. He's hit about 23 pointers. Not about, he's hit 20. <laughs> and, uh, uh, if, you know, if that's not enough, up front, the Tornadoes need to deal with six foot six forward Quatrell Wilson, averages 11 points and six and a half per game, and, you know, can obviously alter some shots if, if need be. So they have some weapons that Trenton's going to have to contend with. And, uh, you know, Tornadoes have taken on all comers this year, buddy. They've, they've grabbed the number 17 ranking in the state. After a close call at Hamilton Tuesday, they easily beat improved West Windsor South 77-52 last night. Uh, Cabrian Goss, who had 32 in his debut, only had a couple against Hamilton, but he got back on track with 26 last night. Chris Wilson with 21. And look, the Tornadoes are definitely on another level than most, most of the CVC teams. So to get an opponent from Newark is definitely going to provide a tough challenge. You usually have to play tough to beat these teams from the state's largest city because there's a playground toughness that just comes with these games. And it's going to show Trenton what kind of toughness it has. And, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's kind of uh, it's going to be two teams that you're not going to worry about. Neither team's going to worry about uh, imposing their will or getting, getting the game at their tempo because we're going to see two teams that like to get up and down the court, as you'll hear Daryl Young say in a moment. Yeah, no question. Let's uh, let's get right to uh, Pup then. Well, let's, let's, let's make sure this is working. Hold <laughs> on a second. Brian's going to have to help you out over there. Turn me up a little. You got to Hold mess. on, folks. Yep, you got to mess with uh, the cord here, I think. It likes to be... Uh, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I'm not sure that it's uh, working. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, there we go. To get pressure, 94 yeah, all right, feet. All right. Now we're going to see, can right, we handle uh, that same pressure that we? 
right, Darrell Young, take yeah. two. Take two. <laughs> All right. We are here with Darrell Pop Young, whose team continues to roll at 15-0, and, and a big non-conference team from Newark Academy. Uh, not, I'm sorry, Newark East Side. He's Newark East Side. And uh, Pop, how good is it to have a, a game against, you know, an, a, an inner city team who you have to play tough against? It, it, it's a it's a good challenge for our kids. You know, it actually, it's a, I watched them on film, they're a mirror of us. So our kids are getting to see what it feels like to get pressured 94 feet. Now we're going to see, can we handle that same pressure that we give out? You know, so it, it's, just, it's a game where we got to um, take care of the ball, Fish. Got to take care of the ball because we're going to see a lot of pressure today, so we haven't seen in a while. So it's a great test for us. It's a great yeah. test for us. Yeah, I mean, and it's nice to get out of the conference for, for you know, a little while and see how you and look, this team's seven and eight. They've lost six straight, but that's a little misleading, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna get to that. This North, this is North East Side, and they play in a tough conference up there. Night in and night out is a battle. You know, just this a night game before this. I think they play. Mac. No image of you guys, so they're going to try and press. This is North East Side, and they play in a tough conference up there. Night in and night out is a battle. You know, just just a night game before this, I think they played Montclair Immaculate, who had the kid going to Louisville. They they lost in overtime. They were down ten and forced overtime. No, these kids can play. Don't get fooled by the losses they taken. The losses came to some great teams. Yeah, exactly, and. Uh, Give us a little, shed a little light on them. You said they're a shadow image of you guys, so they're going to try and press, get some turnovers. Is that how they work it? Yeah, it's pretty much like we do. They're going to press us 94 feet. But what I've seen, every game I've seen, they, they was out there pressing 94 feet, uh, straight five, man to man. They, they go five to nine just like us. So, like, basically when I watch them on film, it's like looking at us. Right. You know, but it's a game of styles. Coach might come up with something different today. I don't know. Sometimes you go in, and you might change up a little bit. But if you're a stickler to what you do, I plan on seeing them coming in a tough man-to-man, -man, a physical game tonight. The rest, more than like I know Tommy, I'm going to let us play tonight. So this should be a great matchup, Fish. Yep, and it's, it's for a good cause, too. What can you say about the cause that it's for in this event? Oh, this is a great cause. I was, I was there with Joe. You know, we coached together at the high school. So I was there from both times he had his bouts with cancer. So it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's sentimental to me and I, to, be a part of this, to be a part of this. Because I was there with Joe, I see the battle that Joe went through, and what Joe went through, ain't too many people in this world can handle that, man. I saw this big, strong guy pretty much diminish down to nothing. But the power of God, he willed himself all the way back, man. And he had some great doctors in his life, and there's a lot of support in his community. And he's back, man. He's back. This is a serious disease, and we need to do as much as we can to help people out here that's facing that battle. Well said, brother. Very good. Always a pleasure, pup. Have good luck today. Thank you. All right. Well, Daryl Pup Young, he wished you good luck today. I don't, I'm not sure that you need it. <laughs> he knows who I'm working with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he talked about uh, the great Joe Richardson, who we're going to talk to eventually this afternoon throughout the uh, doubleheader coverage. And uh, what an event he puts on. And uh, obviously a big thanks to Marty Flynn, who gets us set up here, and everybody here at Trenton Catholic, but uh, it's a great event, and, you know, that's got me a little juiced up, I got to tell you, for this game, because he's basically saying, you know, we can't take this for granted at all. This is a really good team, even though their record is under 500. Right, and, and that's why that's why they put it on the schedule. They, you know, <laughs> they knew this was going to be a good team, and, and like he said, they, they come back against teams with, you know, great records and uh, you know, a couple of two of the teams they lost to are currently ranked in the top 20, and this and this little losing streak they're on. So uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's uh, <laughs> Tommy Carr <laughs> waving Tommy, our first game of the year with young Mr. Yes. Carr. Um, All of our favorite <laughs> officials, we had to wait weeks to yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, bad things come to those who wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, and and. and <laughs> Stats are going to be tough to take today because these guys are going to be going up and down quick. A lot of missed shots, a lot of putbacks, a lot of getting out and go. Uh, but for the fans, this is going to be a great game to watch. And uh, 
you know, and, and I, it's, it's cool to see a different team, uh, you know. And, and, look, that Newark league that these guys play in, it's called the SEC. I'm not sure what that stands for, but, uh, you know, there's yeah. some really good teams in that league. So these guys are going to war every night. So this game against Trenton, this is like another game for them. <laughs> you know, right. it's like, all right, we got to play another thing. I don't know how many teams they played that were undefeated. But, uh, you know, look, th this is what Trenton wants. They want to see, hey, are we good enough to be undefeated? Are we good enough to take on these kind of teams? And even if they lose, I think being undefeated is not at the top of the list right now. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm sure it amongst the kids they talk about it. Sure. But you just want to. You want to make yourself a better team for the county and state tournament. And when you play teams like this, it can only help. It can only show you what you may have to work on and everything else like that. So uh, should be a, should be a good one. You know, we're here in the Iron Palace. It's uh, I get you. You still got to consider it a home game for Trenton. They're about five minutes away, whereas Newark had quite a ride to get down here. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, and you look at all the numbers for Trenton, too. I mean, you talked about how they're undefeated, yes. But, I mean, you look at the number, like, they're plus 361. They've scored over 1,000 points this year as a team. I mean, absolutely incredible. I mean, it's not like, you know, yes, they've played close games, but they have had quite a few games where they have just run away with it. Right. And, I mean, they've scored 100 points. They've scored over 90 points, I believe, a couple of times. So... This, uh, this Trenton team is the real deal. I think they've already proven that. It's just a matter of how many more games are they going to win and how far do they go in the playoffs. And this is kind of a game that they're going to say, okay, hey, can yeah. we compete with the out-of-conference teams that are very good? Yeah. And uh, it's going to be another test for them today and uh, Daryl Pup Young. They could very well score 70 again today and lose. Right. I mean, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, Look, it's still going to come down to who plays the better defense. Uh, you know, uh, if Trenton can, if, if <laughs> whoop, we've got the national anthem, time to stand up. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs, plus we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model, it's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Back at Trenton Catholic, keeping it alongside Rich Fisher as we get set for Trenton and the East Side Red Raiders. There's a lot of East Sides in the state. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Camden East Side, Patterson East Side, North East Side. Watrell Wilson, who Fish mentioned, one of the starters, as is Nasir Muhammad Wheeler. And it looks like as well, of course, Sutton Fitzpatrick, who Fish also talked about, and phenomenal player 
he looks like averaging 16 a game. Yeah, that's. These guys got some players. David Akeeler. <laughs> they don't look too fired up the way they're coming out. They're getting introduced and just kind of, kind of walking slow out, whereas Trenton's sort of trotting out. <laughs> Wilson coming out. Monte Hudson, 1,000 point scorer. Alessi Mingo Jr., the final starter. So it's Mingo Jr., Akeeler, Fitzpatrick, Wilson, and Abdullah for Eastside. And Tornadoes in their black uniforms, getting set for the tip. The Keeler will do the tip for Eastside. Sorry, I'm writing in my lineup. Oh, you're quite all right. Yeah. I'm used to it. Yeah, get used to it. You're going to be alone in the second game. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you practice now. <laughs> pretty disappointed by that. I know you are. Talk about lame duck. What about you today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just plain lame. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson getting set to do the tip, and the honorary tip man, I guess we'll call him, Tommy Carr. <laughs> Is that what we're calling him? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I just called him. Yeah. Antoine passes left. We're underway. Brazil Fields back up to Goss. Gabriel Goss has had two really nice games out of three, like Fish talked about before. Yep. Pretty touch. much everybody was held down against the Hornets. Right. They only scored 34 points in a victory out of bounds on the Tornadoes. How about those Hornets last night? Upsetting, undefeated Ewing. Fitzpatrick bringing it up. <clears throat> Wheeler swings it towards the corner. Wilson's there. Wheeler's back with it. High screen by Wilson. Steal. Goss all alone. Nice. And he finishes. First blood. Tornadoes. 2 0. Well, there you go. Stealing the, stealing the layup. I think we're going to see a lot of that today. Pass towards the corner. Mingo. Top Wilson. Working it around Fitzpatrick. Antoine almost swatted it away. Another high screen by Wilson. Mingo launches. That's a three. It's short. Wilson grabs the board over Chris Wilson and puts it in. Tie game at two. Trenton moving fast, per usual. High pass grabbed by Fields. He charges in. Batted up in the air, and it's another Trenton turnover. Who did you call number 11? Wilson. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Echohar, right? The Keeler, yeah. Keeler. Got the numbers mixed up. Okay. <laughs> I got a little nervous there. Duh. Don't be. Okay. Wheeler up top. The Keeler high screen. Almost a travel and unloads it to Wilson. That's Wilson. That is this. And he scores. Four to two. We apologize in advance. We can't see the scoreboards very well on the side. No, they So we won't be able to tell you much. <laughs> Foul is called. Yeah, they didn't have the scoreboard working the other night. I was hoping it would be fixed today, but they got little scoreboards on the side, but people are always walking in front of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> And we're not really in a place where we can have a good angle at it anyhow. Yeah. Trenton with three turnovers already. Mingo passes, and it's Wilson there in the corner. Antoine saves it from going out of play. Fitzpatrick working on Bridget. Gives off Mingo. Went out of bounds. They tried to couple of turnovers early. Yeah, well, both these teams 
we were, we're, we were promised a, run, uh, a back and forth, up and down game, but it's been a half court game so far. That'll, that'll change. <laughs> Gets it into Wheeler. Wheeler dribbling through traffic. Wilson in the corner. Akeeler, nice move, he scores. Yep. He's impressive. He sure is, that was a nice little move inside. Caught it, spun, little fade. Little two, three zone. Trenton works it inside, Devontae Hudson fell down, he got shoved. Not sure who that was called on. Oh, Fish, we're gonna have no idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> the clueless duo. Goss for three, short. Rebound picked up by Wilson. I could tell you that at least. Yeah, he did a nice job on that. <laughs> <laughs> Fitzpatrick through traffic, knocked away. Wilson gets the pass up quickly to Antoine, a little alley-oop, and no foul no call foul. as wow. Hudson went up. He wanted one. Pass deflected out of play by Bridget, trying for the steal. Yeah, I thought he took a little shot there. So six to two. Trenton trailing. Brazil Fields comes out. Calvin Moore in for Trenton. Mingo hands off. Oh, wide oh, open. Wide open oh. and the slam. Wow, somebody <laughs> fell asleep there. The Keeler playing a really nice game. <laughs> Absolutely. Now eight to two. See if Pump Young wants to take a timeout soon. Things not really going their way. Calvin Moore dances inside. Gets the pass to Hudson. Spinning and twirling and getting it to go. That's what Devontae Hudson does. And a foul called on Goss yeah. on the inbound. Don't see that too often. No. <laughs> A little excited there. Mingo gets it in to Wheeler. Now Mingo brings it up. Calvin Moore with the pressure on him at half court. Fitzpatrick trying to get around Bridget, but he can't. Yeah, Bridget playing tough. He is Tough so team. good. Yeah, he, he is, is so good. There's a double team. Out of bounds. Out on Calvin Moore. Yeah, I mean, you can see right away both of these teams really hardcore in your face man to man defense. Hmm. Mingo right wing. Calvin Moore on him. A couple of fakes, tries to step in, he can't, picks up the dribble. Floats it back up to Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick on the dribble, drive, floating, shot off glass, no good. Both tipped up, and it will stay here. Well, he signaled the wrong way, so yeah. it's gonna be Trenton ball. But he signaled this way for some well, reason. Had a 50% shot. <laughs> <laughs> At least he didn't point to the stands. Well. <laughs> You always find the positive. Ah, things, yeah, don't you? yeah. I'm a, I'm a glass half full guy. Great passing by the Tornadoes. Chris Wilson, the beneficiary. There was never a bigger lie ever spoken than that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Eight to six, the score now. Yeah, Trenton creeping right back in it. Yep. Fitzpatrick got bumped. Akeeler, outlet pass. Fitzpatrick for Way three. Off. Way <laughs> off. <laughs> Fish couldn't wait to jump on that. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't even believe I saw oh, it. Oh, I got the perfect angle now. I could tell. <laughs> it was almost like he had inside knowledge. <laughs> Ball barely left his hand, and Fish goes, oh, <laughs> way off. <Yeah>. Pass <laughs> left. Goss wide open for three. Drain. <laughs> Suddenly a little 7-0 run and the Tornadoes are in the lead. Nine to eight, Trenton. Abdullah in the game now. And Kashim Walton, take away by Trenton. 
inside, Hudson. Beautifully done. Tornadoes starting to rev up. Yeah, that really was beautifully done. That's what Trenton likes to do, and <laughs> they did it to perfection right there. 11 to eight, and Tornado fans on their feet. And you wanted Puff to take a timeout. Well. <laughs> now he'll take it. Right, when they run right, the right. run. Exactly. <laughs> fading away, shot is missed by Wilson. Rebound, picked up by Moore. He's on the chase. Nice feed, Antoine with a finish. Timeout, east side. And the Tornado's coming off the bench and they're excited. You can tell they know this is a big, this is a big game for them. They came flying off the bench all in mass. You don't see that a whole lot. Italian Peoples Bakery, proud to support high school sports here on WBCB. Go to 63 Butler Street for the rolls, the deli meats and the pastries. They make their own homemade bread made daily. They offer catering as well, 63 Butler Street. Place to go for the hoagies and the dessert trays for any get together, the Italian People's Bakery since 1936. And you do have a little uh, Giant Eagles later. Maybe you stop by the Italian People's before you go to the uh, the party, the watch party. Good idea. Check yeah. out the Trentonian, Trentonian.com. Own the newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County seven days a week. It's the Tritonium. Where will you be watching that game, Flash Roo? I will be at home, and we're having our family friends over, who we've known forever. Ah, very and good. And they happen to be Giant fans. And in fact, I think I've only missed one Giant playoff game not watching it with them. Ah. Every other one we have, so we All have right. a schedule. All right, very good. How about you? Do you have any plans? Well, I think we're just going to hang at home. And very good. I really don't want to be. Uh, <laughs> in the midst of hearing an Eagles chant every two seconds Absolutely. out at a bar. Absolutely. <laughs> Calvin Moore almost strips it away. Ten seconds. Wow. <laughs> Walton could not get over the line. And out of the timeout, the Tornado is still doing what they do. Might try and find out where that Tommy Carr is watching the game. There He's you a, go. He's a Giants rooter. Nice. He, he tweets out derogatory things during <laughs> the games. <laughs> Goss gets it out. Antoine for three, way off. <laughs> Grabbed by Fitzpatrick, and his foot was on the line. Oh, my. Yeah, nothing oh my going right. east side's way right now. Not at all. Trenton on an 11 0 run. I'd like to see Antoine get going. No look pass. Oh, nice. Hudson missed. Good defense. I'm not sure if that was tipped or not. Abdullah gets around more. No look pass. And Akeeler with a finish. They've got to do something to stop him. Yeah, that's eight for him right yeah. now. 13 10. Trenton lead. Cross court pass. Antoine. No looks into the paint. Goss left open for three, short. Hudson battling for it, but the rebound falls to Wheeler. Wheeler passes back to Abdullah. Nice move, Abdullah. That's a three, missed. Fight for the rebound, knocked away, Goss. <laughs> still trying to gain possession and he does. He is such a flashy dribbler. He sure is. Calvin Moore, no look pass, but it's denied, but a foul is called on Wilson. Quattro Wilson, they wouldn't mind seeing him get in foul trouble. 6'6 <laughs> six, six guard. <laughs> yep. That's, that's a dangerous combo, 6'6 six, six and being a guard. <clears throat> We saw some controversy last night with uh, fouls and yeah, we did. foul trouble. Devontae makes the first. It was interesting. Uh, <laughs> Leonardo Lopez comes in for east side. Haas Cannon telling me after the game that they practice him shooting foul shots while yelling traitor in his ear during the, during the week. <laughs> it certainly Smart. helped. Smart. Abdullah with the rock. 
Good pass. Wide open three. In and out. Put up by Wheeler. Good fight for the rebound, Wilson. Here comes Trenton out of the break. Calvin Moore surveys, passes left. Back to Calvin. Pump Young saying hold. Yeah, what do we? 10 seconds. 11, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Five like seconds. Gonna... Goss, jump shot. Can't hit. Tipped up. Fitzpatrick grabs it. And that'll do it. Entertaining first quarter. Trenton leads 15 to 10. Back in a moment on WBCB. Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health, proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Angela Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of our Mercer County student athletes the best of luck, and also urge parents to stay involved in your children's school activities. Extracurricular events are a great way to keep your sons and daughters focused, and it does not have to be athletics. They can be involved with the drama club, the school band, even the debate team. An involved student today has a brighter future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and I hope you enjoyed today's game. Back at TCPA, the Iron Palace. Keith Noonan, Rich Fisher with you, Capital City Classic. Benefiting cancer and uh, obviously some great basketball being played early on, 15 to 10. Eastside had control for about the first half of that first quarter, and then Trenton stormed back. Yeah, Trenton, nice shooting half, six for 12. Hit both their free throws. Uh, east side, not too bad. They were five for 11 from the field. But yeah, the Tornadoes really, uh, really flipped the switch there. I think, you know, and they got it on a layup. They got it, on, I think it was eight to two, and what, they got a quick, was it a quick steal on a layup maybe that got that run going, or? I forget what it was, but it sparked them, and then they just became. They caused a couple of turnovers there, and yep. missed shots Seven by turnovers. side helped them out. Mingo back in the game, he inbounds it to Fitzpatrick. And we're back underway. Passes right, there's Wheeler. Look in the corner, Abdullah, baseline drive. A jump pass and it's taken away. Goss with a steal, long pass. Hudson underneath the hoop, he scores. Go. Once again, transition baskets off, off of turnovers. Trenton loves to do it, and they really love to do it against a team that is good at doing it themselves. Fitzpatrick, been very, very quiet. He's their guy, 16 points a game. He moves in, floating shot, no good. Hudson with the board. Gets it to Bridget in transition. Bridget into the corner, backed away. Fires it back up top, Moore. Antoine gets it blocked, but then it goes right to Wilson and he scores. All going Trenton's way right now. 19-10 now. You get a block, it goes right to a guy, he gets the rebound, he's able to get the layup. Abdullah steps in, blocked by Wilson. Moore ends up with it, baseball pass to the left. Antoine, down low, Hudson scores again, and another timeout. Yeah. Trenton all over east side right now. And let me tell you something, this is all starting with an unbelievable defensive effort by the Tornadoes. And we, Les, we've seen them play good defense. We know they can do it. But they're, they're wrapping it up to another gear today with the, what they're doing to these guys. And let's not forget the job they're doing on the boards. They're getting every defensive rebound. Uh, three, four, six, eight. They got eight rebounds. Really, it's, it's eight to seven. No, two, three, four, seven. It's eight to eight in rebounds, but I think they got a lot. Eastside got a lot of theirs early because Trenton seems to be getting every board now on both ends. 
Car inventory in Mercer and Bucks County. Check out all new Hyundai of Trenton. All new Hyundai models, pre-owned cars, SUVs, all types of models. Hyundai of Trenton has the inventory ready for delivery. Hyundai of Trenton, 1655 North Olden Avenue in Ewing. So a couple of early timeouts for Eastside, and they've been much needed. But, I mean, it's been the defense, right, Fish? But then it's yeah. been the passing after yes. that in yes. transition that has been spot on. Yeah, they look they look crisp. Abdullah looking to move in. Ball got knocked away. Ooh, I don't know about that one. No, they both. We'll say it's tipped. Looked like it might have come off his hand. It's coming right yeah, at I, us. I could not tell. Yeah. It was a bang bang play. Let's go to the replay. Yes. <laughs> you'll get enough of that. We have the equipment. You get enough of that starting at 430 with the football <laughs> games. <laughs> Fight for it. The Keeler Another got turnover. it for a moment and then Hudson that's comes away with that's it. That's nine turnovers now for East Side. Antoine. Ooh, I thought he was gonna drives pop in. It. Outlets it to Fields, launches the three and he missed. Little short. Mingo. Well, nice rebound, he brought it up. Now Fitzpatrick oh. got away with the travel. <laughs> Fitzpatrick looking over the defense. He's in the front court, pointing. Now moves into the paint, kicks out. Mingo for three, short. Ball is tipped and it's out on Trenton. Trenton up 21 to 10. Trenton is basically on a 19 to 2 run right now. <laughs> Antoine and Fitzpatrick going at it and Pump yelling at yeah, Antoine, stop it. Oh, was that who he was yes. yelling at? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tommy Carr didn't like what was going on with both of them. Yeah. You don't want to upset the apple cart now. They just don't give them any way to get fired up. And they're threatening clapping. They love that defense. Antoine Bridget just played. Mingo, wild shot. He missed. Akeeler fighting for it. Out of bounds off of him. You, well, talk, you talk about they need to get Fitzpatrick going. He's only got two shots in this game. And he's missed them both. This is a 16-point score. <clears throat> Goss picks up the dribble. Good passing by Trenton. Cutting towards the hoop. Wilson, he missed. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up and in. Wow. They are relentless right now. 23 to 10. Trenton lead. Fitzpatrick inside. Oh, and a foul is called on Fields. Looked like he got a lot of the ball that time. And we have no idea the status of the fouls. No. Because the scoreboard's not working. So. Yeah, no, we, we went through this the other night when I was here with Mike. How did that go for you? We didn't, we didn't know the fouls. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nor the time. I had to keep looking at the point guard's monitor. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, that's got to be a travel, but instead it's going to be a jump ball. Hmm. Akila was moving around on the ground. It's a travel. All right. Trenton and ball anyway. The turnovers continue for the Red Raiders. Antoine rushing up the floor. Passes left. Fields is there. Now back to Antoine Bridget. Swinging it over out of the wing. Staying in this 2-3. Fields had to snag that before it went in out of bounds. Bridget for three. Off the mark. It's Fitzpatrick with the board. Fitzpatrick taking on the entire Trenton defense and a hard foul on Fields. Fitzpatrick saying to himself, you know what? I got to start. I got to start taking some, uh, taking some, being more aggressive here. First free throws of the game for. Newark East side. 
It's a little bit of a testament to the Trenton defense. That's first free throws here, second quarter, almost midway. Yeah, when you're playing as aggressively on defense as they're playing and not fouling. One of two, Calvin Moore will bring it up. <laughs> Pass right, Bridget, and a swing it around. The perimeter, Calvin mm -hmm. into the paint. Hudson got a pass tipped out. Yeah, Trenton, does, they definitely don't want to relax because as Daryl Young told us in the pregame show, they, they were down 10 to Montclair, which is ranked in the top 20, and they came back to force overtime. So, you know, they're not, <laughs> they have that, they have that get back into it ability. I call it get back ability. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if they can do it here. Good defense so far. Hudson. Oh. Jump shot missed. Hey, you did everything you had to do. You got a good open look there. Just couldn't get it to go down. Baseline J is an air ball from a Keeler. <coughs> Into the paint, Oop. Hudson underneath good, the hoop. Good job. Back out to Bridget. Goss launches for three. In and out, but Wilson there to clean it up. Wilson has been the man here so far for Trent High. Eight points, four rebounds for the big guy. And we've heard Pup say, as Chris Wil we go as Chris Wilson goes. Foul called on Trenton. Wilson comes out. Tamir Bailey in. Fitzpatrick off the inbound for three, missed. Bailey fights and wins the rebound battle. Bridget stops, gets it to Calvin. But Trenton is just so aggressive going after loose balls and rebounds. Calvin Moore mm. passes right. Now Goss near the corner. Look <laughs> at coach coming right out on the court to pick something up. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Antoine right straight on and missed the three. An air ball, missed everything. Boy, his shot goes up high, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Abdullah. Gets to the hoop, and he got fouled. <laughs> Abdullah, another guy they want to get moving here. He's, he's a 12-point-a-game guy. And <laughs> yeah, nobody really has gotten moving for east side. No. Quattro, I mean, their three top scorers right now have two points between the three of them. <coughs> the Keeler had a nice start to the game, but he slowed down. Abdullah makes the first. Bridget comes out. Brazil fields back in. Missed second shot. Bounce pass stolen away by Abdullah. Bad turnover by Trenton. Contact lamp is missed. Goss trying to take it inside. Kicks right now, pass back up top. Calvin Moore on the left wing, into the corner. Fields thought about a three. Instead gets it down on the block. There's Hudson with an easy bucket. Well, 27 to 12. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of unbelievable. It is. <laughs> Fitzpatrick in the lane. Doesn't get it to go. Ball being fought for. Wilson got fouled as he put up a shot. That's a great fight by Wilson. Great fight. You know, one of the things you said was they got to do something with Equalar. Well, they've done it. <laughs> he had yeah. eight in that first quarter. He's got none in this second quarter. They don't have a basket yet in this second quarter. There's minute 42 to go, and all they have is Two free throws. This is if, if, if. <laughs> finally found Tommy your calling. Carr, uh, finally found your calling in life. 
cleaning things up. <laughs> you just have to take your shots, don't you? Yeah, they come so rarely. <laughs> <laughs> Wilson misses. Yeah, they're, I mean, they're getting to the line a little bit, but they're, they're only making one out of two every time. Both. Yep. Also with another board. Trenton will bring it up. The tornado's passing has really been on point. Oh, yeah. And that's how you have to attack a zone. You're not going to be beat a zone. Whoa. Not that pass. You're, you're not going to beat a zone by dribbling against it. you got to pass it, work the ball around. <clears throat> Minute 17 seconds. Calvin Moore. Checking out the situation. Michael Bossier from Lawrence, a really good player for Lawrence, gave Calvin Moore a lot of credit for teaching him how to play point guard. Hmm. They played AAU together, and Calvin was the point guard. He said he learned a lot from him. He wow. said, I learned how to pass. All I ever did was shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Great move, Calvin Moore into the paint. Oh. Baseline jump shot. Misses everything. Chris Wilson, and then it's out of bounds on east side. Good job by Moore to keep that ball in possession. Wilson. Got it to Wilson for an open shot, but it wasn't too good. <laughs> Quick timeout taken. A couple of subs. We'll get to them in a moment. 27 to 12, Trenton lead. The Italian People's Bakery, proud to support high school sports here on WBCB. Go to 63 Butler Street for the rolls, deli meats, and the pastries. They make their own homemade bread made daily. You can have them cater your next party or affair and check them out for the best hoagies, finest dessert trays for any get together, 63 Butler Street, the Italian People's Bakery since 1936, and the Trentonian or Trentonian.com, only newspaper serving Bucks, Burlington, and Mercer County, seven days a week, the Trentonian. Well, if you whose ball is it? It's, uh, it it's be East Trent, it's, it's, Trenton. It's, no, wait, didn't it go off of Wilson took the shot? I believe it went off of, of Quattrell Wilson, yes. Oh, okay. Too many Wilsons. You get confused. Easily. <laughs> Easily confused. <clears throat> well, that happens often. <laughs> <laughs> I will not deny that. 47 seconds. Let's see if Trenton tries to hold it here for the last shot. Which it's easy to do when you're going against the zone. You can just sort of toss it back and forth unless they come out to play. Well, and they are coming out in man to man. There's the inbound high and left. Calvin Moore has it. It's being pressured, though. They switch to almost looks like man to man now. Yeah. And a steal. Nicely done. Rushing up is Wheeler. Wheeler doesn't get the layup, but the tip in. Nicely done by Walton. Yeah, that was nice. He was right on the spot into the corner. Antoine, nice dribble drive, and he gets the bucket. Twenty-nine, fourteen. So they got their first block, first basket of this quarter with 33 seconds to go in the quarter. Walton left-hand layup, no, and then a foul. Another offensive rebound. A Keeler that time will get to the line. It's amazing what Trenton has done with guys. The combination that Eastside has of guys that can score, whether they be guards or forwards, and Aguilar has had a nice start but hasn't done much, and they've got that, that size and athleticism that you'd think could kind of match what Trenton has going on, but Trenton has really steamrolled so far. Yeah, that was kind of a bad foul with like .5 seconds to go. Right. He, gave, he actually gave him a couple of chippies there. That ends the first half. 27, rather 29 to 16. Or 15, I, <laughs> if, I can, if I can see the score. 15, it looks like. It's again, 15, Again, yes. we apologize. Can't really see the scoreboard, but we will uh, take a timeout, and hopefully we'll talk to Joe Richardson, who's running this great event today. So we'll also talk about uh, this game, obviously, right now that Trenton is in the lead. We'll take a timeout and come back right after this.
New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation. And that didn't happen by accident. It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Hi, Merrill Reese reminds you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. It's a new year at Team Toyota, and we're still here for you. With new Toyota models arriving weekly with no markups above MSRP. And with selection. With over 200 certified Toyotas and used cars for every budget, you can drive one home today. And with service. Check out our seasonal specials that will save you time and money. So Happy New Year. We're always here for you. At one of our three locations in Princeton, Langhorne, and Glen Mills. Or at TeamToyota.net. The Gator, Jerry Blavitt, inviting you to come on by and experience true traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant at 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You're always welcome at the restaurant. I mean, it's like stepping back in time. You feel like you're dining in South Philadelphia or in New York's Little Italy restaurant. You can start the meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. You choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood, steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The restaurant is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private rooms are available for special affairs, plus we do catering. Remember, the Revere Restaurant, 609-882-6365. Again, that's 609-882-6365. Come on home and experience the true taste of Italy at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any make or model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good! Hi, Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health. Proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Angela Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of our Mercer County student-athletes the best of luck and also urge parents to stay involved in your children's school activities. Extracurricular events are a great way to keep your sons and daughters focused, and it does not have to be athletics. They can be involved with the drama club, the school band, even the debate team. An involved student today has a brighter future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and I hope you enjoy today's game. New Jersey is home to the best public schools in the nation, and that didn't happen by accident. 
It's the result of parents, educators, and communities working together year after year to give our students a world-class education, no matter the challenge. Because parents and educators know that with a shared commitment to our public schools, our children can learn, grow, and thrive. And together, we can keep New Jersey's public schools the best in the nation. 1490 WBCB Levittown and Trenton and video stream live at WBCBSports.com. Your home for the best local sports in Bucks and Mercer Counties. Capital Health's primary care network continues to grow, bringing its extensive option of locations to your neighborhood. Whether you're scheduling a wellness checkup or not feeling well, advanced medicine starts with a Capital Health primary care doctor at locations near you in Mercer, Bucks, and Burlington counties. To find a Capital Health primary care location that's convenient for you, visit capitalmedicalgroup.org. That's capitalmedicalgroup.org. Hi, Merrill Reese remind you to come back home to traditional Italian cuisine at the Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road in Ewing Township. You'll always feel welcome at the Revere. It's like stepping back in time where you'll feel like you're dining in South Philly or New York's Little Italy. Start your meal with complimentary Hoboken bread. Choose from a menu featuring fresh seafood dishes, succulent steaks and chops, or homemade pasta dishes. You can even eat at the bar. The Revere is open seven days for lunch and dinner. Private room available for special affairs, plus catering. For reservations, call 609-882-6365 at 609-882-6365. Come home to traditional Italian cuisine. The Revere Restaurant, 802 River Road, Ewing Township. It's a new year at Team Toyota, and we're still here for you with new Toyota models arriving weekly with no markups above MSRP. And with selection, with over 200 certified Toyotas and used cars for every budget, you can drive one home today. And with service, check out our seasonal specials that will save you time and money. So Happy New Year, we're always here for you at one of our three locations in Princeton, Langhorn, and Glen Mills, or at teamtoyota.net. This is Merrill Reese reminding you that Haldeman Ford Subaru on Route 33 in Hamilton Township is more than just a great place to purchase a new Ford Subaru or pre-owned car or truck. Their collision and service centers services all makes and models and specializes in fleet service. Haldeman's Collision Center is renowned for their work. It's a state-of-the-art facility. All insurance accepted, free estimates and loaner cars available, and one of the friendliest staffs around. From small dents to major repairs on any maker model, Model. It's Haldeman Ford Subaru Collision Center, Route 33 in Hamilton Township. They're good. All right, welcome back to Trenton Catholic. Keith Newton, Keith Newton alongside Rich Fisher, and we're joined by Joe Richardson, who is running this fine event. And uh, Joe, first of all, welcome. And second of all, you've got to love what you're seeing out of the tornadoes, first and foremost, right? Yeah, thanks a lot, Keith. We truly appreciate it. Um, East side came out at the beginning of the game, strong run. I believe they were up eight to two. Uh, with the intensity that Trenton continued to play during the first quarter, uh, you could see by the end of the first quarter that the legs were beginning to go on East side. So it was just that constant uh, up and down with the Tornadoes are known for um, that got them control of this game during the first half. Hey Joe, we've we've seen this team play with intensity before, but this is the most intense I've seen them as far as getting after loose balls and everything else. What, what are your thoughts on that? I tell you, um, Deuce has, has really taken his game to another level. Um, and I'm not sure if it's because he's coming off of the bench now or what. But when he came in the game, the energy just, it just went up, offensively and defensively. So um, he, he really made a, a big difference. Yeah, Calvin is great. Um, and 
you know, he's playing very well again. But let's get into this event before we start the second half. Um, for those people who don't know much about it, if they're just watching for the first time, tell the audience a little bit about what this event is and, and of course, what it means to you. Um, well, this organization, Capital City Cancer Classic, uh, I'm a two-time cancer survivor and uh, put together this. I was uh, a coach at Trent Central High School during both of my cancer bouts. So we put this together to raise money to uh, support cancer survivors as well as sponsor scholarships. Um, I'm just thankful for the tremendous response that we, we've been getting. We've been able to do great things. Uh, this is our third year and we continue to grow and we're just pleased with uh, what we're able to do as it relates to giving back. Joe, how anxious are the, we, we know that the local teams like to do it. How anxious do, are these uh, visiting teams? I mean, do they appreciate the cause and they enjoy coming down here for this? Yes, uh, the thing with the North Jersey teams is you got to get to them early uh, because they're North Jersey. They pretty much play a hectic schedule. So it's just a thing of getting in touch with them early uh, so that their schedule is not full. Uh, but everybody we reach out to, if they're not already booked to play, um, they're very excited to come down. Uh, and, and I always go back to the the Central Jersey versus the North Jersey, you know, from back in the 80s. Right, so yeah. that's what we brought back with Trenton and uh, Newark East Side today. Well, and, and, you know, Fish talked with uh, Pup Young before in the pregame as we get going for the second half. And, you know, Pup basically said it, it's very important for him as well. Uh, this event because he knows you very well and he saw you know the battles you had to go through so I don't know Trenton seems a uh, pretty inspired to me today I mean you, you think that you know that that influence that Pup Young was talking about you think that is going to play uh, a factor with some of these teams um, I think that Trenton just comes out to play it's funny because if you look at one game Trenton seems to play down to certain opponents and then they get up for others. I think once they find that consistency of every time they step on the court, playing 100% from the start to the finish, um, you'll see a uh, much improved and better version of Trenton High. Devontae Hudson gets it to go. He's just doing what he does. He's in having the a game. That's 14 for Devontae. Leads all scorers. And Joe, so tell people where all the proceeds go and what all the good things that are coming out of these three games in this event. Well, the proceeds, uh, when they donate it to our organization, we turn it over into a reputable cancer organization. We spend a lot of money that we give to them. Secondly, we give out high school scholarships to seniors, and then we help support a family that is currently dealing with cancer. Amazing. That's great stuff, Joe. Trenton on the break now, and Antoine lost the handle, taken away Fitzpatrick for the moment. Now Wilson pass into the corner. Fields thought about a three. Now Wilson will try a long jump shot, and he gets the oh, goal. That's how it's been going for the Tornadoes today. Every bounce is going their way. I mean, Joe, it seems like, uh, you know, I see a lot of games. I mean, I know you're not coaching any, any longer, but you know, you're running this event, and it seems like you're keeping up very well with this uh, Trenton team. So how important is that for you? And as the year, you know, comes along and you have this event, I mean, what what, what does it mean to you to, to continue to watch and continue to be a part of Trenton? Um, well, again, Trenton was my first uh, high school coaching, you know, assignment. I did coach uh, 10 and 12-year-olds at Martin House several years ago. Um, but I have to be neutral because I you know, run this organization. I bring teams in, and they need to know that everything is fair and on board. So I, I go to games. I support. I, I try to watch different teams. Uh, so when we plan on having our next event, we can have uh, a pool to pick teams from. Um, but I'm always going to, first and foremost, ask Trenton Central to be a part uh, of this tournament. And uh, I'm a Trentonian from birth, and so I'm going to always ask them to be a part, and then we kind of try to get teams around them. TCA, TCPA uh, has been our host, so we always include them as well. So we're just looking to get uh, bigger, better, um, improve on you know what we're doing, uh, and you know trying to look for a couple corporate sponsors who will who will help us out with our mission. So this is the third year, correct? So 
You're in. What's the long-term plan, do you think? You think you want to make this into a bigger tournament? Um, you talked about some sponsorships and other things as Fitzpatrick with a really nice scoop layup. What's the ultimate goal? Well, the ultimate goal is to uh, just have a day of maybe four or five games at a central uh, neutral location. Uh, it, what we do, our first event, we were able to donate $6,500 to Fox Chase Cancer Center. Uh, second event, we were able to donate $7,500 to St. Jude's wow. uh, Children's awesome. Research Hospital. And this year we'll be donating to the Lymphoma and Leukemia Society. So we're hoping to up that total number. In addition, we've been able to, begin out, been able to give out $3,500 in scholarships and once again support families that have been dealing with um, cancer. I'll tell you really quick, I thought in the first quarter, number four for Eastside, he really, he really pushed and pushed them. But as Trenton continued to apply that in intensity and pressure, you could see him starting to slow down from fatigue. And uh, they kind of slowed down at the middle of that, sec that first quarter. Well, he's their leading scorer, and that was just his first basket he got just a few seconds ago. He's only got five points. Bridget, floating shot, won't go. Yeah, he's been finding the big man. Um, he's been breaking Trenton down, finding the big man, and uh, really helping spearhead what Eastside's been able to do. They're kicking up a little bit of a fuss here, cutting into this lead. Yeah, 33-21. Yeah. And Keeler trying to feed down low. Steal by Brazil Fields. Deuce on the break. No look pass. Hudson lost the ball. Trenton ragged here this half. Well, you can tell Eastside had a little bit of a pep talk during the halftime break. Abdullah. Takes more to the hole and scores. It was nicely done. Yeah, I think in that first half, um, when Trenton came out, when Deuce got in and they turned up the intensity, it, it kind of shocked Eastside. Uh, looks like Eastside has regrouped some and uh, trying to make a, the game closer. And it looks like they switched to man. Uh, they were playing yeah. a little 2 3 zone early. Well, they, I, didn't they, they came out in man, I think. Didn't yeah. they? And then switched. And then they the zone. switched, yep. And now back to man. Passing Hudson baseline, jump shot, good. <laughs> Nothing but net for Devante. And a timeout, Pup Young, of course, <laughs> after they score. He needed to do that. So, Joe, really quick during the timeout, where could people donate? How could people donate? Uh, tell them all that information so that uh, they know. Uh, on Facebook, we have a page. Uh, we have a GoFundMe, CCCCNJ. Uh, we go through Cash App, Venmo, and um, we're just, you know, so happy with the donations we've been receiving, the support, and we're really grateful and thankful um, to the community at large for just supporting our efforts um, and actually, you know, being a part of something bigger. We're a small organization, but we're doing big things. And your donation helps not only people in your local community, but it helps people all over the world. Uh, with St. Jude's, they have children who come in from all over the world and they're not even charged for the treatment or the housing of their families. And so, again, while we're a small organization, we're able to do big and great things. So when you donate, you're do donating to something bigger than yourself. Uh, we encourage you. And um, again, we're just thankful for, for all the support we've been having regarding our events. And the last thing, and uh, of course, we're gonna let you go because you're running this event. You've, I'm sure you've got a million people that want to talk to you and everything like that, but uh, you talked about your personal battle. Pup talked about your battle and uh, twice uh, beating cancer. Uh, everything okay with you? How are you doing? I'm well. I'm cancer free. Thank God for that. Awesome. Um, Two-time cancer survivor, as I mentioned, and it's only right that you know I give back because it was through clinical trials and unfortunately through the the death of others that they were able to get together a trial that helped me to, to be here today. So as long as I live and I'm able to, I'm going to uh, try to have this organization push forward to, to uh, advocate, encourage, support those who are affected by cancer. Joe, do you, as a two-time survivor and feeling as good as you do, do you talk to other people that are suffering with the, with the disease right now and try and tell them, look, don't give up, you, you, can, you can lick this thing? Oh, most definitely, Rich. Um, 
I always make myself available to people who, who have cancer, um, to people going through it, to family support systems, um, to just to encourage them. I use myself as an example. Uh, my first battle was prostate cancer, stage one. My second battle was stage four double hit lymphoma Ooh. cancer, a rare and aggressive uh, type of cancer. So I've been on both spectrums. Um, and so I encourage them that um, to look at me, you know, and uh, I, I survived it. And I just try to encourage them. I try to make sure that they go to a cancer facility that deals specifically with cancers for their treatment. Um, the bad thing about it is, of course, we know everybody is not going to survive. And when you are that close to people and you're constantly talking to them and you get a call that they pass, uh, it does something to you. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and speaking of that, during the end of both games, we're going to have our most outstanding player trophy, which we now call the Eli Ingram uh, trophy. And that was because we had a young man we were going to honor in our last event who was dealing with cancer. And unfortunately, he passed away in October, a couple months before we had our event. He was only 13 years old in middle school. So in honor of him, we uh, renamed our most outstanding player award, the Eli Ingram Award. That's awesome. Well, every, everything is uh, awesome. And Joe, I, I can't thank you enough for having this event, all the good that you do. And thanks for uh, a couple of minutes of your time today. And uh, Obviously, a, uh, a good game shaping up right now, 35-27. Yeah. Don't look now. Right. But uh, Eastside is staging a comeback. So we'll let you go, and thanks for everything. Appreciate it. Thank you both uh, and your team for all you do, not only for our organization uh, in this game, but for all the games that you do. Uh, we play uh, success and blessings for upon you all, too, and that um, you know those that support you will continue to support you, that you can grow even larger. Thank so you, we Joe. thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Joe. Thanks for a couple minutes. 35-29, just like that. Yeah, as much as we love Joe, we had to get him off the air. He's bad <laughs> luck for the tornadoes. <laughs> I'm sure he was happy, too, to <laughs> yeah. be like, okay, let me just start, start to focus again. Fitzpatrick gets it up, and it's another layup. Yeah, Wilson. They have, they, have got, they have gotten in transition now the way they want to. And you know when, when things go bad for the high, Daryl Young does not use his timeouts, only when they make a shot. <laughs> yeah. So you know none, none is coming unless they make one. Well, 15-point lead is down to four. Kevin oh. Moore got tripped, yeah, and he's Moore down. Moore in pain, holding his side. Uh, he, he, he's grimacing. Looks like that hip area. And here comes the Trenton Catholic trainer Dominique Peters who I just re was reintroduced to during a pregame Dominique was a great player at Lawrence High School happy to see her back in the CVC and serving as the athletic trainer here very nice really nice kid really really good kid went to Rowan and uh, I told her her team could use her this year. The Cardinals are struggling with the girls team <laughs> so Does she come out of retirement yeah, for a couple out of games? retirement yeah well, I'll tell you what, Trenton is, they're not shooting uh, the way they were earlier. And they're really not working the ball as round like the way they were. And Eastside is, is getting out and running, just like they we were promised that they would do. Uh, let's see if this delay can sort of hold back their momentum a little bit and give Trenton a chance to regroup. Calvin going back to the scorer's table. But he still is hurting, it looks like. So Goss will inbound for Trenton. It's only a four-point lead now for the high. Emmanuel Mingo now checked in the game for East Side. There you go. Shot for three, Bridget nails it. Well, they needed that one. 38-31. 45 seconds, third quarter. Stripped away from Abdullah. Goss, no look pass. Ooh. Field steps in and a block. I thought when he got the ball, he might have taken a step. But, it's going to uh, be on Mingo. 
and Antoine Bridget was in the corner all alone. Yeah. Wanted a chance to make another three. Yeah, he was feeling it. Well, when he gets going, oh. I mean, he is one of the best shooters. When yeah. he gets hot, he does not miss. Yeah, you can say that about a lot of people. I'm sure we haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure Cabri and Goss must get that way too when he's <laughs> 32 and games of 32 and 27. And these are kind of big free throws for Fields. You want to grab some momentum back at the end of this quarter. And Fields gets the one. There's a lot of dribbling. Now <laughs> the boat. Never works. Fitzpatrick on the inbound. Moore is on him. <laughs> Good to see him back in the game. Absolutely. Joe kind of credited him with, for lifting the team in that first half. Wheeler gets it back to him. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Fitzpatrick into the hole. Ooh. Almost traveled. Passes out. A Keeler lost it. This. Two seconds. Shot at the buzzer. Oh, go. that would have been massive. Goss put it up. Yeah. He just missed. Goss, is, Goss and Tommy Carr are saying something to each other. I don't know what, but Tommy was laughing. And he gave Goss a little cat pat, and uh, Goss was laughing too. So end of three, Trenton 40. East side 31, a good game. And we'll be back for the fourth quarter right after this. Merrill Reese for Capital Health, reminding you that the former St. Francis Medical Center is now Capital Health East, and they still offer a 24-7 emergency department as well as outpatient medical clinic services. To enter the emergency department and outpatient clinic, please use the Burt Avenue entrance. Capital Health. Proud to be a partner for better health in our state's capital, Trenton, New Jersey. This is Angela Weiner for your Mercer County Prosecutor, and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish all of our Mercer County student athletes the best of luck and also urge parents to stay involved in your children's school activities. Extracurricular events are a great way to keep your sons and daughters focused, and it does not have to be athletics. They can be involved with the drama club, the school band, even the debate team. An involved student today has a brighter future tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, and I hope you enjoy today's game. Back for the fourth quarter from Trenton Catholic. And Trenton Central is up 40 to 31 as we enter the fourth quarter. And, and how about, how about this? Fish has the stat of the day. Yeah, after shooting just six for 21 in the first half, Eastside was seven for seven in that half. That helped them overcome six turnovers, six more turnovers. They've got 15 for the game, but seven for seven, a lot of high percentage shots, a lot of layups and things like that. But Under, underway fourth quarter. I mean, Trenton did a good job of sort of gaining a little momentum back with that five point spurt to end the, end the quarter. Cross left open, wing three, no good. Fitzpatrick with a rebound. Fitzpatrick makes a move, spins. Nice pass, and underneath, the Keeler. And he got fouled, I believe, at the end of the play. So it's an end one. He continues to be trouble. 13 now for him. Now 40 to 33. And tornadoes have had a, a couple of open threes this game and have not made their fair share of them. Right, just haven't gone down. In and out. Trenton with the ball. Calvin Moore. Eastside just on Wheeler. five for 11 from the line. That's, that's nice move by Moore, jump shot. Too strong. Long rebound, Wilson, no foul. Hudson ends up with a loose ball. And then it's taken away by Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick. To the rim, scores. Well, he's come to life in this half. You figured he would. Averaging 16 a game. 
Keeler almost was on the switch there. Goss dribbles through traffic. Now Bridget with it, gives it to Moore. High screen Hudson who fell down. Chris Wilson, good defense on him by Abdullah. Mismatch, double team. Uh, foul. 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 Wilson's a guy, he's kind of key. He's going to be one of those key players in this fourth quarter. Two shots for Wilson. You seem a little antsy. Who, me? Yes. It's a, it's a good game. I get... <laughs> I, I get when they when it's a good game like this, I get a little antsy. No matter you know, <laughs> just it's 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 exciting. Just don't know what's going to come next. Good job by Wilson. 42-35, and a push. Trenton will have the ball. Wow. Abdullah shoved down Bridget. Yeah, that's a bad foul. The foul. Yep, that's a bad foul there. All right, I'll try to be less antsy, pal. <laughs> what are these cookies doing here, by the way? Oh, they're yours. Oh, when were you going to tell me? Uh, I thought about it a couple of minutes ago, but then I figured you'd notice. I, I, I did. Well said. I assume they're from Ingrid, my good friend. Correct. Oh, and wow. she said, please give this to Fish if you see him. Thanks, and I Ingrid. Said, I will see him today. Thanks, Ingrid. Yep. Tell your son not to leave me. <laughs> She's probably more upset about it than I am. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. A rare missed shot this half for Eastside. The first missed shot. Nice. Not, they made their first nine shots of the wow. half. And a timeout given on a loose ball again. Nobody really had possession there, but. Anthony Tavares, the East Side coach. Yeah. They, have, they have two two guys listed as head coaches, Brian Garvin I and Anthony that, yeah. Tavares. But I think Tavares is sort of, I think that's Tavares that's out there. I don't know. We're not sure. But on the roster, they provide Tavares's phone number, too. So you would think he's got to be the main guy. You would think. Yes. Make your New Year's resolution to stay in shape and stay healthy at your neighborhood capital area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. Your hometown capital area YMCA offers fitness classes to meet your goals with convenient hours, of course. The capital area YMCA has state-of-the-art workout equipment as well. They've got all kinds of classes, silver sneakers programs, capitalymca.org, your hometown capital area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. And check out the Trentonian or Trentonian.com. The man to my right will be writing about this game. Yes. And telling you everything about it, Trentonian.com. Yeah, there's another interesting little stat. Trenton is shooting 50% for the game, 17 for 34. Yeah. They shot 50% each quarter. Huh. Six for 12 in the first, seven for 14 in the second, four for eight in the third. Hudson down on the block, passes out. Bridget, no look pass, inside, Wilson doesn't get it to go off the glass. Wilson with a rebound going the other way, gets it up to Mingo, across the court for Abdullah, now Fitzpatrick, shovels it oh, back to Wheeler, inside, gets it to Mingo oh. down to the block, and a foul's called. Yeah. That's gonna be on Moore. I'm not sure what the foul situation is. But it's no, we have no clue. Not shooting yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best we got for you. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, pass stolen away. Good idea. And taken uh -oh. right back by Mingo. Uh -oh. Abdullah. That's a three. It's short. Chris Wilson leaping up to grab the rebound. Calvin Moore oh, dances in, throws there. it into the bench. I'm not sure what Calvin was thinking there. I guess he thought. Wilson was further out than he was. Or he expected someone to be there. Steady throw it to 
Pup Young, who looked down in disgust. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want the ball. Correct. He he's not, yeah, he's <laughs> not going to be shooting it. I haven't played in 30 years. <laughs> Abdullah just missed a three, passes one up, and he got hacked. Well, East Side's going to have to start making some free throws here if they want to get back in it. Five for 11 from the line so far. Of course, the way they play, they could get back in it without making free throws. In and out. Still 42-35. Got the second. Well, like you said, I mean, they're still in this thing. Oh, yeah. They got to get a few stops and a technical foul. Oh. Tommy Carr, you don't see him doing that too often. Huh. Huh. So Trenton gets a break. Big break. Uh. In and out. You know, I'm not sure what happened there, but. No, we never are. <laughs> Seemed odd. Antoine misses both. Uh, long on both. Trenton is giving them a chance, letting them hang around. A Keeler coming back in for Mingo. Antoine has it in the backcourt. Well, that technical won't hurt him now because Trenton had possession anyway when the tee was called. Nice cut by Calvin Moore. That's a great play right there. Moore coming across, reverse layup, all in one motion. Double team on Abdullah. Crowd's starting to get into it now. They're sensing that got to urge these tornadoes on. Jump shot nailed by Wheeler. Little step back and a full timeout granted to Eastside. First bucket of the game for Wheeler. First points of the game. Two possession game, anything can happen. Make your New Year's resolution to stay in shape once again at your Capital Area YMCA, 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. Adults and senior citizens, your hometown capital area YMCA offers fitness classes to meet your goals with convenient hours, even for those who work. Yoga classes, silver seeker programs, total body fitness classes, even some uh, hip hop step classes. I know Fish is all over that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hip hop I'm a hip hop guy. Big dancer. Oh. Capital area YMCA <laughs> also. I was in the music band my senior year yes. in high school as a dancer. Uh, State of the art workout <laughs> equipment, capitalymca.org. <laughs> Your hometown capital area, YMCA 359 Pennington Avenue in Trenton. And speaking of that, we talked about uh, last night, obviously, David Crosby passed away. Yeah. I really like Crosby, Stills, Nash. Well, here, I told you I would tell you that story. So, yes. We were in a restaurant in Cape Cod, and he came in in Hyannis, and he came in with his entourage, and they, started, they were sitting around. And, and Crosby says to the waitress about lobster, he goes, we don't want we don't want the tails, we just want the claws. And he started making his hands and claw. So my my former wife just just perked right up and just goes, We'll take your tails. Huh. And the whole table started laughing. And we started just kibitzing back and forth, not long, maybe a minute. But they were very friendly and very, you know, they didn't mind kibitzing and when I got up, when we got up to leave, I went over and shook his hand, told him I admired his work very much. He shook my hand, said thank you, and uh, that was a cool moment. That's awesome. Yep. By all accounts, he was a good guy. Well, you know, what, for our three-second meeting. Sure. Another turnover. Foul. Two shots up coming for Abdullah. Well, it's always nice when you have at least a, even a small encounter yeah. and they're pleasant to you. You'll remember that. Yeah, because some guys could be jerks Correct. about the whole exactly. thing. I mean, yes. kind of reaching over his table to, to shake his hand, but he was very appreciative.
Two big free throws right here. Could cut it to four. Yep. Still got a chance to do that. Four. They've gotten as close as four so far. <clears throat> That's the closest they've been since back in the first quarter. Oh, missed, I missed. It. Wilson with his eighth rebound of the game. Goss walking it up. Tries to get behind Wheeler. Wheeler swarming defense. Goss oh. travel. I'm not sure he had possession there. I mean, yeah, I don't I think know. he kind of picked it up. But anyway, it's a turnover. Under four minutes, gut check time. Fish is getting antsy. <laughs> yeah, I'd never make those free throws. <laughs> Wheeler spins out onto the left wing. Passes into the corner. On the drive, Wilson missed the shot. Chris Wilson, rather. Devontae Hudson grabs the rebound. Antoine got it poked away. Fitzpatrick, it's a three on two. Wheeler scores. Oh, man. Three-point lead for Trenton. Trenton undefeated, 15 and nothing. And they're going to have to scratch and claw every inch. Yeah, they are. Goss. And we, you know, we, we knew all along, we knew that they had the potential to do this, East Side, to make this comeback. And it has happened. They've been. Uh, it's they've one been, and one. They've been the better team in this second half. And now you're talking about some big, no, major free throw here, one and one. Goss has not scored since getting five in the first quarter. Missed that one. Missed it. Wilson. Got his own rebound. Or rather, oh, going yeah. the other way. Wilson couldn't hold on to the rebound. Yeah. And a turnover. Well, everything was going right for Trenton early. Now everything's going wrong. There's St. Peter's coming out. I'm sure you're anxious to watch them, buddy. Man, they seem excellent. Goss. Baseline. Stepped out. Oh, my. Trenton is just falling apart offensively. That's six turnovers in this quarter. Yeah. 249 left to go in the game. Down by three, east side. Looking for a huge upset. Pass right, Wheeler. Into the corner, Fitzpatrick. Thought about a three. Gets inside and puts wow, it up and in. What a move. One point game. Bridget lost it. Gets it back and a foul. Well, Fitzpatrick averaging 16, had one at the half. Got 10 in this second half. And there's another Trenton turnover. My goodness. They call it against Trenton the foul, so it's one and one. Wheeler will go to the line. Bridget comes out. Wheeler another one. He had no, no points entering this quarter. Got a couple of buckets here and chance to get not only get some points, but give his team the lead. Ties the game up at 44 apiece. Two minutes, 23 seconds left. There's the lead. East side has taken it late in the fourth. Did Trenton respond? Yeah, that's the question. They gotta, they gotta, they gotta regroup here. They've taken a really bad gut punch. Hudson, nice dribbling. Dishes, lost it out of play. Staying with Trenton. I'll tell you what, they, these sides got a lot better tightening up their defense underneath as well. Trenton was getting some open passes under there and some layups. They're not, they're not even getting those passes now. Bridget looking to inbound. 2.06 remaining. Hudson takes the elbow jumper, can't hit. Out in transition, Wheeler with the rebound. Wheeler gets cut down by Goss. 
Goss is not happy. <laughs> Ran all the way down to this end of the court. <laughs> Under two minutes now. One and one. For Nasir Wheeler, he hits. Now Wheeler has been money here at the line. A couple of one and ones, he hit both ends last time. Ewing went down last night, handed their first loss by Hamilton West. Yes. And this one, Trenton's trying to avoid the same fate. Wilson, oh, he, he traveled. Yeah, he did. Trenton trailing by two, and they give it right back. This is amazing. East side on a 10 0 run right now. And what a comeback. Yeah, down 15 late in the first, sec first half. First, second, third half. <laughs> Fitzpatrick How many turns it over. <laughs> yeah. Hudson, Wilson, packed, will go to the line. No, they're not, they weren't going to make it easy. <laughs> Rather foul him and make him have to earn it at the line than give him that layup. 46-44, Wilson, who's really been Trenton's best player, having a chance to tie it up. Well, Hudson has been too. He's been good. Both of them have been playing well. These are massive free throws. You got to stop this run if you're Trenton High. Perfect. You mentioned that. Eastside got just one basket in the second quarter. They shot one for 10 in the second quarter. Well, Trenton has just one basket this quarter. For the tie. No. Tipped up. Goss gains possession. Into the corner. Bridget for three. No. Rebound, Abdullah. It's a one point lead. 20 left. <laughs> what a ball game. What a ball game is right. Abdullah. Pass almost goes out of play. Fitzpatrick grabs it. How much time will Trenton allow them to take off is the question. Uh, what, at one point, I think they'll let them take a lot of time off. Swarming defense. But you can't let them take too much. Now we're down to. 51. Yep. And timeout. Timeout. Ay, ay, ay. 46 45 and 47 seconds left. Just five points for the Tornadoes in this quarter. Their offense has really been shut down at times. Absolutely. Over I the mean, past few games. Well, they're hurting themselves too. They're making some bad turnovers in this quarter. Stepping on the line. Really having trouble. Yeah, that was a huge three right there by Bridget. He was wide open. Yeah, and that's the other thing. They were hitting. I said, you know, they've been they've been hitting 50% of their shots every quarter. And this quarter, one for two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for seven this quarter. And nine turnovers. That is not good. No, it is not. <laughs> you can quote me on that, pal. <laughs> well, they're going to have to. It, it's tough. You can't really pick a guy to key on here. Everybody sort of come to life here. If it's Patrick Wheeler, they're all doing a job. Hey, you just got to get a stop. Still got to worry about Ecolar. He's been in trouble. Although I don't, he's not out. Is he out there? Doesn't look like it. Well, they only got four guys. Oh, the inbounder. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, somebody's got to throw it in. Fitzpatrick inbounds. One point lead for East Side. Can they get it in? They yeah, do. They do. It's now, Abdullah. Now how long? Abdullah, good pass. Mingo will back out. There you and go. There's a foul. So Mingo will go to the line. East side.
right. They got to be in the bonus by now, don't they? Yes. East side. The double bonus, I mean. Trying for a big upset here on the road at the Iron Palace. I, uh, I, this is another one of those games that I call it an upset in, in numbers only. Correct, yes. In personnel. I don't oh, what know. a big shot. Two point lead now. And this will make things really difficult for Trenton if this goes down. Well, you gotta, you gotta hit a three. Missed. Yeah, oh, but rebound. they got the rebound. Patrick. Oh, wow. Another that's, foul. That's a killer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you get a break and uh, you don't take advantage. 34 seconds left. 47-45. And Fitzpatrick, their leading scorer, is at the line. Yeah, I'm guessing he's the guy you want up there. Oh, and my. Goes off. The plot thickens. Indeed it does. David Akeeler comes in. Big shot for Fitzpatrick. Got he it. got it. 48-45. Trenton's undefeated season on the line. 30 <laughs> seconds left. They're 15-0, perfect so far. Who's going to take the shot? Need a triple. Timeout. Timeout. Pup Young. He looks a little upset, like they weren't doing what he wanted them to do. <laughs> 19 seconds left. I mean, theoretically, you don't need a three with 19 left. No, you can, uh, you can, you know, go for the two. Get the easy two if it's there. Yes. And then, you know, either maybe try and get a current turnover on the inbounds or, or uh, back to the free throw line. Yeah, getting back to the free throw line and hope that they miss. I mean, they haven't been what you would call. Deadly at the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, eight, nine, ten. I mean, they're six for 13 from the line in this quarter. So, you know, I wouldn't mind. I, I could see taking your chance, putting them back there. But hey, first things first. You got, you got to get the, uh, you got to get a bucket, one way or the other. We'll see what Pup Young wants to do. And I think defensively, if you're east side, you're going to give them the easy two. So got a three-point lead. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they'll probably guard the perimeter a little tighter. You have to, yeah. To provide token pressure inside. Whoa, man, what a game. I don't know. I don't know who, who did something right between the two of us, but we've been rewarded. <laughs> which is some great, great games. Great games always. Calvin Moore, 19 seconds. 15 seconds. Pass to the left. Bridget, Trenton trails by three. Nine like, seconds yeah, they want left. To set a screen. Yeah. Moore, uh -oh. can't get the shot away. Three seconds left. Got to shoot a three. Bridget can't hit. And that's it. East side comes into Trenton and ends the Tornado's undefeated season. Trenton falls to 15 and one. They didn't get a good shot away. And that's it. What a comeback. Down big and they take it 48-45 over Trenton. Absolutely a great comeback by East Side. Got to give them all the credit in the world. This is a team that's been struggling on a six game losing streak. They've been in a lot of those games and today they pulled it out down 15 and uh, defensively they turned it up. Their, their main guys got going in the second half and that's all it needed. I got to run, buddy. All right. Thank you to the great Rich Fisher. Thanks to the sponsors making this live stream possible. Capital Health System, Oldham and Ford Subaru. New Jersey Education Association, the Revere Restaurant, Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, Team Toyota, Capital Area YMCA, the Trentonian, the Italian People's Bakery, Hyundai of Trenton, and Mako in Ewing. Thanks to Brianna Neal for producing this live stream. Thanks to Ryan Baxter on the camera. And of course, Trenton Catholic Marty Flynn, who I think Bill Redner 
is going to talk to for the next stream. We've got the doubleheader uh, coming up shortly here on WBCB. For my broadcast partner, Rich Fisher, this is Keith Newton saying so long for the moment here at Trenton Catholic as Trenton Central loses a tough one, 48-45. Their undefeated season is over, and they'll look to regroup later on next week. So, so long, everybody. We'll talk to you on the next stream on the WBCB Sports Network.